Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we got some huge, huge news. So guys, please, if you are new to this channel, subscribe for more content like this, leave a like on this video because we got some hype, hype news that they dropped in the game today. So, it's been a long time. It's been uh, more than a year actually and we're gonna go down the year and uh, we're gonna click right here destroy the machine uh, the machine life form so yes guys brave xvs final fantasy brave xvs and near automata is finally making a comeback it's back yes it is indeed you guys will be able to fight the raid boss one more time it's gonna start friday the 23rd of, of uh, november and it's gonna end on thursday uh, december 6th so this is amazing guys, I can't believe they actually pulled it out. Uh, so the near banner is coming back and you guys will be able to uh, summon some of these stuff and also get the cruel health uh, a second time. The iron will, heavy armor, dragoon lance, uh, type 3 fists. So you're going to be getting a lot of things and uh, let's be honest guys, near automata is uh, was such a good banner when it came out and now that it's coming back means uh, we're gonna get some good stuff out of it one more time and first let's go right here i know there's uh, the seven star release special part eight so you guys are gonna be able to summon for uh cg laswells uh gladiolus noctis lauren lunera and fallen but let's be honest i want to talk about these units right here so destroy the machine life form this is gonna be amazing then we're gonna have the Trial of Vengeance. So Asiko is coming back. She's gonna be awakened and she's gonna be a lot stronger now. So the light and dark elements are effective against her Kupo. Kill the spirits around her to reveal her true weakness, but watch out for strong attacks afterwards, Kupo. You might have a tough time if you don't build up your resistance against stone. So make sure that you bring your Petrify Resist because she's gonna be petrifying a lot of your party. Also, quick trick. If you guys want to use, uh, let's say, um, Golem, is it Golem? No, not Golem, um, Titan on your physical attackers, you guys can use him because basically he has Petrify Resist. So just putting this out there. Uh, also, initial completion reward, you get a 5% Moogle, which is pretty standard. Complete the quest, you get another 5% Moogle. No limit burst, you get 100 Lapis. Use White Magic, which we're probably going to do. Uh, two seven tickets and get a chain of five or more in one turn. Photo Locket. Uh, spirit 22 spirit 15 percent and it's an accessory so really really cool can't wait to do this fight but let's jump in into the real news guys because with the near automata this is the units we're gonna have and you guys can see right here 2b and a2 will get their seven stars awakening and they will be coming in a really good banner so let's go down here uh 9s still pretty good if you guys don't have a good breaker, you can still do the do uh, the job. Uh, is uh, TM was really really good when it came out. It's still pretty good if you guys want to build up some chains and also uh, mitigate some damage taken per two. Uh, e uh, 210 actually or TMR is really really good. So if you guys don't have your hands on her, if you can get a lot of her, go for it because her TMR is really really good with mechanical art. And uh, Eve is just Eve. He's just shirtless so uh without waiting let's go down here step up summon first one is going to be a thousand five hundred and you'll be able to pull four units uh with a guaranteed four star also after step two you will get three thousand five hundred lapis it's going to be eight units and it's going to be a guaranteed four star step three five thousand lapis you're going to be guaranteed a rainbow which is really really good step four it's going to be 5,000 Lapis. 10 plus 1, you're going to be guaranteed a 10% Moogle to any unit. And on step 5, you're going to be guaranteed A2 or 2B. And guys, I do hope you guys kept a lot of stuff for these units. Because they're going to be really, really good. Uh, they were super strong, uh, super strong, sorry, as 6 star. And now as a 7 star, they're going to be even stronger. So if you guys don't get your hands on these units... It's really not promised that they'll ever come back again. So I know I'm going to be pulling for them because I didn't get none of these two the first time they came around. And uh, hopefully I can get my hands on both of them right now. So let's go right here. I'm just going to go over A2 and 2B because basically that's the most cool units in this banner. So A2, a lot of attack or super trust master boost attack. 
by 80% when equipped with a large sword and physical and uh, magic damage against Machina monsters. So this is actually really, really good, especially for fighting Machine monster. Then, our Trust Master, if you guys didn't know, uh, Beast Lord, Great Sword, Attack 125 and Defense 20%, enables Beast Roar, basically what it does, deals damage to all enemies. So, let's go over the featured abilities right here. Uh, Inorganic Blades, so every five turns you can use that. Boost own attack and defense for three turns, enables finisher and heavy attack for five turns and automatically revive caster one time this is actually pretty pretty good then avoid heavy attack seven star move damage and reduce attack and magic for one enemy maybe 50 percent break that would be really really good and uh your uh double slash basically enables specific abilities to be used in one twice in one turn so they're probably going to build her around being a true double end character which is going to be pretty standard now in days now we got to be and you guys can see that her attack is over the roof. It's super, super strong. So let's go over Super Trust Master. The Executioner. Boost attack. It's a materia, by the way. Like uh, A2's... Uh, A2 also is a materia for your characters. So Executioner. Boost attack by 40% when equipped with a sword, katana, or a spear. Boost physical damage and magic damage against humans. And enable or not to be. Don't know what that means, but uh, that's pretty cool. So I gotta say, they look really, really good. And, uh, oh man, Friday, Friday we're gonna be polling for them. I have no choice, I have to do it. Then our Trust Master, if you guys didn't know, it's the Virtuous contact Contract. It's a uh, Katana. Yeah, that's a Katana. Uh, attack 130, MP 20%, which is pretty, pretty nice. Then, featured abilities. As a 7 star, Supreme Support Weapon. Uh, you can only use it every 7 turns. So reduce attack, defense, magic, and spirit for all enemies. Mm, so it's a big AoE break. Boost attack and defense for caster and enables avoid attack, true charge blade, true charge spear, and true charge volt for 5 turns. Pretty sick. Pretty good. Then, Yorha, uh, sword dance. Every 4 turns you can use that. Lightning damage and reduce attack, defense, magic, and spirit for 1 enemy. And uh, enables extra speed and Yorha slaughter dance for three turns really really cool then our last move true charge blade damage all enemies three times and fill own lb gauge so yes filling your own lb gauge is really really good because your lb is super super strong then these units right now let's be honest eve we're not going to talk about it but uh, resentment you're going to probably get some moogles in the raid so you guys will be able to get their tms a little bit faster so boost hp by 30 percent and defense when hp drops below a certain point really really good Mr. 9s right here you have the pod uh, which the pod was really really good and mirage is the chaining move which is also really really good then this right here 210 you guys need to get that uh, TMR it's really really good basically boosts HP and spirit by 15% and chance of restoring own HP when receiving a physical physical attack or a magic attack so if you guys put this on your tanks it's stackable you guys can put this on your physical attackers you guys can put this on any single character so the second they get hit they have a chance to restore their own hp which is really 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 good so guys man yeah they're coming back this is sick news really really good i did not expect that on tuesday to drop so uh really really cool really really cool do i have anything here nope so let's go into the notices uh also after maintenance on thursday you guys will be able to fight Nunki in uh, the Chamber of Arms. A new foe awaits, people. A new foe awaits. And I gotta say, this character looks really, really good. The sprite that they did is sick, sick, nice. So you have ice, fire, wind, lightning. I gotta say, that looks pretty, 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 pretty. And it will be avail available on uh, after Thursday on uh, November 22nd. So this is one more thing. If you guys want to try uh, challenge yourself... Chamber of Arms, go for it. Apparently this fight is going to be a little bit harder. So uh, good luck to all of you guys doing non-key this week. Then, this is the prettiest one. Seven Star Awakenings are finally unlocked. And you guys, yes, because we said it before. I'm just going to finish off on these two beauties right here. So A2 and 2B will get their seven stars, guys. So like I said, uh, there's a good chance this banner will not come back in the future. Uh, this banner was literally out a year, more than a year ago. It was basically out in, uh, I think, 
july last year so now it's november and it's been a long time and it's not promised that they're gonna come back with this banner because for developers it's really hard uh like uh they were saying in their ffb channel uh it's really hard sometimes to just between two games have the rights to certain units and everything like that so guys if you have to pull and you want some good units there's some really really good tmrs in that banner go for the units and uh you will not be uh saddened by having a2 or 2b because there are two super strong units guys on this note hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below what you guys think about the near banner coming back i seriously didn't think it would come back but you know what sometimes you just gotta relax and uh see it came back so it's really really good i'm super happy about it and we're gonna be pulling for them on friday that's for sure on this note guys thank you so much for watching please leave a like down below subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace